oh, I'm already below the, the digit, so I turn this off. I was below 7 degrees Celsius, uh, minus 7 degrees Celsius, and that's very nice. <laughs> because the uh, sun is shining and so, so much solar energy that I, I need a 100 watt bulb uh, to get rid of the energy. So I'm giving a try with this 222 watt dehumidifier. Uh, and what, yeah, as you see now we have again minus three, or if you prefer Fahrenheit, so that's Fahrenheit. And I bought this for a very cheaply uh, eBay $30, including shipping, because the water did not uh, somewhere here and it dropped down, and, and so, but the machine is working. And um, so I had to here. Yeah, the switch um, to uh, for the water outlet, uh, and I had to remove the, uh, the the that's inside here where the cool section to prevent um, over, over, and it's and it's going too too low the temperature. And um, what's very nice, okay, now let's remove the, the plug so I can touch this without. <laughs> And what's very nice here, that's a cold section. And it's only, you see this pipe going to the pre, uh, to the pump and here this, this caliper uh, um, thing. And it's all, all going from, from the upside. So I can put this um, cool section uh, down from here into a box. And the box uh, filled, with, um, filled with water from my cellar. Because right now I have to pump out uh, about more than one cubic meter of water every day so that my cellar uh, won't be flooded and and so this water down there is at five degrees celsius plus so you see if i go here with five celsius plus then this machine would go down to even minus 10 degree so the water from a cellar can go here and it's a water water air heat pump <laughs> so i'm I can, I, I'm dreaming that this 200 watt uh, can be turned into 600 watt of energy. And it's going to be a fridge, uh, so that I have to now to um, set apart the, the cold section by, let's say, 5 centimeters, which, as I said here, is, is very easy. Uh, because it's, I could now already pull it out. And, and because here there's so so much of this tiny a thin tube, and then I can simply um, put this five centimeters apart. And the lower section uh, could um, could be left uh, without the water cooling. Then it could be really a, a freezer. But as I am a, a vegan, keto vegan, so ketogenic D8 and uh, low carb and and vegan, and vegans do not really need a fridge. <laughs> So I, I would already be happy with the five uh, degrees Celsius of of the, the cellar, and therefore, and simply a fridge where this is inside the fridge, and here this side then would be the heating section. And so maybe later I will try uh, uh, another heat pump that really goes up to let's say 50, 60 degrees Celsius to heat up uh, my uh, shower shower water, but. For, for my shower, I have this nice heat exchanger here. That's really working very nice. So um, this is going to be my, my new fridge. And and indeed, you see, uh, nowadays uh, is everything has to be low power, and so all these uh, fridges. So I cannot use a fridge for for heating because a fridge only <laughs> needs about 30, 40 watt the compressor, and so this is a, a, a compressor that that happily needs uh, 200 watt of, of electricity. And so if you have a household that, um, well, you have one or two, 1,000, 2,000 of watt of solar power on the roof, then you do not really need a, uh, such a super economic fridge. You would need a, a fridge that, uh, let's say, needs uh, up to 1,000 watts so you can uh, also heat your, your room and, and your water. Okay, just 
received this today and as I actually want to show you it's very easy to, to put this apart and then this uh, ventilator will only um, suck out the heat air uh, let's say that's come in cold air coming in from the beneath and then it's heated up here and then it's blown into the room okay yeah here as as I said it's very easy to to make a distance in here and put some insulation and could even use this this box here as, as in my fridge but as I said this is going to be a cooling capacity of 600 watt uh, 400 watt fridge so I, I, I plan to re rebuild a, a scrap an old fridge and remove all the, the old stuff and and then install here uh, this, this thing so that I really have a nice fridge uh, and on top a uh, six, 600 watt heat pump. Okay, bye bye. Now it's completely frozen here. No longer showing anything here. And it's not really warm here, but I guess if this would be heated up to five degrees Celsius, then also the output here would, let's say, be 10 to 15 degrees uh, warmer. The warmest part is a, is a compressor and so the heat flow should be um, coming in here so taking up the heat here uh, from which is most compressed and then going up here and then sucked out and, and put into the room. But by the way uh, you don't no longer see it here. Um, there was a lot of dust between these two um, cooling and heating elements and, and therefore you, you cannot really clean them in between but the, the airflow was already heavily reduced because of the dust that was between these uh, two uh, elements and so um, if you want to clean them up you see it's very easy you have to remove the upper thing and then you can put it apart and clean in between uh, that might help someone okay